Gotcha. We know you. We have fought before, Constant. The memory is gone. Round one. Fight. All right, now, let's go ahead and start with, uh, like we've talked about before, mm-hmm. every single Mortal Kombat character, you still have that flavor that's always been there with characters, and each variation adds a little little touch to yeah. it. So let's talk about the stuff they share with him. Exactly. So, uh, common moves with Katana, her probably most signature move as a series are fan toss. There we go. Yeah. Uh, that one's really effective. You do the EX version, you get a double fan toss. Uh, and you can also do an air version of that. Uh, the air version is... One of her core moves, especially for combos, because it suspends mm-hmm. characters in the air for a little while. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's kind of some classic kind of combo building, right. uh, if you will. You also got your fan lift. Uh, uh, big combo starter for, for Katana. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, you know, you'll notice it's visually changed, too, from like the MK9 yeah, mm-hmm. and the classic fan lift. It actually looks more like a, a tornado or a yeah, vortex. I really like the style of that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that one's uh, really effective. We're, uh, we are in Royal Storm right Royal now. Royal Storm right now, yeah. yeah. That one actually has a little bit different variation. Of Which we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that exactly. part. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's, this one will look a little bit different if you see it. And like we talked with Spiro as well, mm-hmm. uh, when it comes to telling characters apart, mm-hmm. this version has the uh, glowing sticks, the glowing sticks mm-hmm. in her hair and yep. it's maskless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go through some other shared sure. moves. She's got her. Uh, she's got her. Oh, we got the the hover. I guess yeah, the little hover flow. move. Uh, that move is deceptively complex and uh, really useful because not only can you use it to dodge projectiles when you're across the screen from someone, but you can also follow up with attacks afterwards. Right. So you can do things like jump in. And so I can do like float. Yeah. Exactly. Or you know you can attack and then float and then, and right. then attack. There's a ton of possibilities. So yeah, it definitely can kind of trick the opponent into mm-hmm. thinking you're going to land. Mm-hmm. You don't land. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, a lot of utility in that one. Uh, we, we also have the wind fan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that move is uh, very good anti-air. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can meter burn, of course, to get the you know extra damage out of that one as well. Um, I like to use it when I get knocked down. Mm-hmm. I like to use it kind Make of a wake attack. attack. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Just yeah. want to make sure everybody saw his X ray again. Yeah. So this is what happens. Yeah. Just want to. It's your contribution. Well, you yeah. know, I, I didn't have much to say there for That's a second, right. so That's I figured right. I would just impose it. That's okay. Oh, let me mention something real quickly before I forget. Uh, all that concept art you just saw on the stream, if you look at NetherRealm's Twitter right now, our community manager, Rigo, has put up a link to our Tumblr page so you can tear apart the stuff even more. Yes. So, <laughs> which we're excited about. Am I uh, forgetting anything else for common specials? There's one more uh, that's new, a little new. We got a... Uh, oh, yeah, the throat slice. Throat slice. Yeah, that moves really fast. It's a really good combo in there. Yeah. yeah. You can uh, meter burn for a little bit more damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it, that one's a good all-around, like, you know, I'm finishing off our juggle. I want to threaten space kind of at mid-screen. It comes up so fast that you kind of always have to be watching out for it. So, yeah, you can definitely, like, I, I like to use enders and such like this, which Tyler, I missed, yeah. so whatever. Tyler, don't show off all your goods. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I need to yeah, stop doing that. Come on. Come on. But and we also talk, you know, those who don't play fighting games a lot, um, there's, a, there's a term we use called footsies. Yes. And footsies is kind of a way to always be sort of like in the range where your best move is right near them. So mm-hmm. this move, her, her, that, the, the, this move right there, is great when you're just yeah. at mid-screen trying to fake them out a little bit, and then boom. Yeah, yeah if you can predict where they're going to be, that's a very good dangerous move you can threaten. And if they're trying to back dash yeah. on you, you can easily catch them there. Exactly. A lot of utility for that move. Now let's kind of go into Royal Storm's mm. differences. Yeah, Royal Storm is probably my favorite trait of uh, all three of hers. Which I think is funny because oh, yeah. everyone's always like, oh, well there'll just be one trait that everybody likes. Yeah. Absolutely untrue. Because uh, yeah. you're like, you like Royal Storm. Yeah, you like one of the other ones. My favorite is Assassin. Yeah. Like that, because that's sort of how I like to play. Yeah. Although I've found matchups mm-hmm. where I like using Royal Storm. Exactly. So. Exactly. It, it's, I think the reason I like this one so much, it has so much utility. Mm-hmm. There's a, all of her new moves in this one kind of have a lot of really different functions. And so, uh, like, it's the first one you can show is the new family. So that like, one has additional range. Right. right. I can get, regular, I can get it about mid screen. Mm-hmm. But if I'm full screen, and I EX it, yeah. it is a full screen. And then from across the screen, you can be throwing fans, yep. air fans, follow up on combos, all sorts of options. So that's been super effective. Then you have the square wave. Right. Uh, which is yeah, square wave. Great for getting in or also getting away. Yep. Uh, uh, I'd say this this version of her has the most airborne moves. She yep. has the 
the float. She's got the square wave in the air. She's got the fan toss. You can build a lot of combos that way. I would say this move really controls mm-hmm. the controls everything above you. Yeah. Very, very exactly. Good. She's very threatening if uh, you jump. You don't, you don't necessarily want to jump yeah. mindlessly. She also has this, um, which. Derek, I believe. Mm-hmm. I picked somebody without a projectile. Picked a character oh, without a projectile. Okay. Yeah. We, can, we can kind of. Don't apply. worry, we'll see it later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. This this is one of the best reflex I've ever seen in a fighting yeah. game. So you can actually hold it down. Yeah. So if like so you were talking earlier to me about Cassie Cage. Yeah, Cassie Cage has a EX gunshot move. Mm-hmm. Uh, has multiple projectiles. You don't just reflect one. You can reflect all three back. Right. Keep holding it or timing it correctly. And uh, yeah, it's any character that is throwing multiple attacks at you that are projectiles. You right. can be incredibly dangerous across the screen. So this whole build could be kind of effective as a zoning build, right? If you're you know throwing different kinds of projectiles out and uh, bouncing stuff back. Mm-hmm. I like to use it as like an anti-zoning build, so if someone's trying to just stay away from me, I so can build you in variation. Yeah, variation, right. sorry. No problem. Uh, yeah, so I can use a variation, this variation to say, no, you can't just stay away from me, you have to come at me, and then I'm controlling the game. Excellent, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one.